welcome back to the vlog where have i been what have i been doing L let me explain okay let me explain i have i have a good reason i ain't gonna i ain't gonna because there is literally no reason for me to ghost y'all like that so i apologize i'm sorry forgive me okay but i'm really excited because we're back on the vlog i'm really excited because um we're doing vlogmas this month okay by the time you guys see this it is december 1st and it is vlogmas episode one so i'm really excited if you're new here welcome my name is naomi tiara i'm a mother i'm a wife i'm a pastor i'm a content creator and we do all things jesus fashion beauty and lifestyle here so welcome if you've been here before welcome back okay guys i'm i'm gassed i'm super i'm super super amped and super excited because we're doing vlogmas and my vlogmas schedule is going to be a bit different than other people's vlogmas schedule i know people do it like every day for 25 days but no no <laughs> no okay i understand my capacity i understand what i can do i understand what i can provide and what we're doing is monday wednesday and friday you can expect a vlog on mondays uh makeup fashion or lifestyle video on wednesdays and then another vlog on fridays so looking forward to that this is the first vlog back honestly christmas is like my favorite season so vlogmas is just very fitting um where have i been what i've been up to so basically divine influence was a thing for those of you guys who don't know, Divine Influence Conference is a conference that I host every year, and we had Divine Influence Year Two. We had some great guests who were just pouring life into the conference and it was so amazing and what touched me the most actually is that the guests were even blessed by it like the testimonies that i was hearing were just crazy and i'm still hearing testimonies to this day i even heard a testimony probably like a couple days ago where someone messaged me and they said that how they were delivered from smoking weed every day child that was my testimony back in the day so i was like that is so like full circle it's just amazing and god is really just doing what he can only do through divine influence conference if you actually do not know what divine influence conference is it's a gathering of content creators entrepreneurs influencers people who are called to any area and realm of influence and basically we gather we pray we seek the will and the vision of the lord concerning our lives and we're set forth into whatever he's called us to do so it's beautiful to just see people who are trying to influence this world trying to influence this world for the glory of god and honestly it's a vision that god gave me years ago and i'm so happy that it's growing into this beautiful amazing thing that i could not even imagine it being when god told me about divine influence um i could never imagine it being here and i'm just so touched and all glory to god and i know that along the way it was it was a process it was honestly a process because so many times when god gives you a vision that's this big you can kind of get in the way of the vision and then it just not go as planned as god planned but something was different this year this year it's like a different level of surrender a different level of obedience a different level of sacrifice that god required of me and i could not even say that any of it was me I, it was not me child it was not me i do not know her it was someone that god was using it was not me okay that's it so i'm just so happy that people were blessed uh souls are blessed lives are transformed and uh, god got the glory 
God got the glory. And that's just to say, like, I don't mean to start the vlog this deep, but if you are somebody who's doing something for the Lord, okay, make sure. Come, come here. Make sure that your heart is postured. Mm -mm. Y'all didn't y'all didn't hear that. Y'all didn't hear that. Make sure that your heart is postured towards the Lord because there are gonna be so many things, so many things that will make you want to move out of your positioning move out of the destiny that god has planned for you but if your heart is postured towards the lord then outside sources will not affect the plans of god on your life and who i feel god i don't know who needs to hear that but whatever is inside of you that's bubbling that promise that purpose that that thing that god placed inside of you remove yourself out of the equation It sounds, it sounds crazy, but remove yourself out of the equation and give it onto the Lord. Keep your heart postured towards him and watch him do far more than what you can imagine. Watch him do exceedingly and abundantly. Because when, when we want to do it our way, it's not cute. Or it's cute for a moment. It's cute for Instagram. It's cute for TikTok. But when you want to do it God's way, it's everlasting fruits. Okay? so thank you jesus that was a word for me because that was mm. thank you lord anyways <laughs> divine influence i hope that i hope that encouraged somebody to get up and do what you gotta do okay all right child but anyways divine influence was amazing if you missed it this year i mean you better be there next year okay it was also really cool to see the house some of you guys who actually watched the channel were there some people who watched the channel were even serving at the conference that's crazy so divcon 2024 divine influence 2024 make sure that you are there tickets will be available real soon so stay tuned for that um what else has been happening obviously you guys know that i had a baby girl she is so so gorgeous she's so so beautiful you guys will definitely meet her in due time but but she's amazing she's been growing well she's now four months so really really exciting i just been navigating mom and wife life ministry life and content creating and honestly i'm doing it by the grace of god yeah. by any means necessary okay by any means necessary child so um vlogmas day one what are we doing what are we saying what's it about um we go make some cookies because i feel like what is a vlogmas without making cookies Okay. Hi. Hi. I think Zeke. I think what also you guys have been missing is that Ezekiel's starting to look a little bit more like me. Nope, he's not. You're lying to them. He is looking a little bit more like. Nope. Me. Hi. Hey. Hey. Um. I didn't have my intro. My name is David. I, sometimes, sometimes I allow Naomi to show up on this channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. I've been trying to do Vlogmas for a couple years now, but I get to do Vlogmas. Zeke, you, you weren't even born when I was trying to do vlogmas. Hey! Sassy! Yeah. Uh, it just It's just a baby girl that's missing. Alright guys, so the children are in bed and we're going to make our cookies. Sponsored by McDonald's. But we're making David's uh, special recipe. Yeah. Which you already know is not his special recipe, so let's get into it. Let's get yeah, into it. Sure. Let's go. Break, break the dough. Basically, I just wrap it up. If you want, um, the, if you want the um, recipe, just subscribe. And then once you subscribe, just like. And then once you like, share. Once you're done on those steps, I'll let you know about the recipe. Don't worry about um, the wrapper. It says Pillsbury, whatever that is. Um, okay. Here's so, the thing. We actually love Pillsbury cookies. Like, not like, not like. Not in an obsessed way, but we like it. Like honestly, this one right here, the chocolate chip one, it slaps. Like it's always gonna slap, and especially around the holiday season, you want to get your. I don't know what that is, but you want to get your holiday season on. As I was saying, so I'm about to get ready to my special. Recipe. Your, your thing is so wrinkly. Um, the ghetto. 
Yeah. So you want to get one of these? You want to um, get one of these. Happy to be sponsored by Betty Crocker. So discount code would be not in the bottom of this video. <laughs> you can get, once again, sponsored by Betty Crocker. This. She really um, that girl, eh? Betty? So, so what I like to do basically is speak to you. Speaking. You can just go there. Yeah. Wait, what I like to do is out of my whole shot. Uh, to my show. What I like to do usually, so basically, you know, the, the elasticity helps with the um, um, for the motion and cooking and stuff like that. So, so out. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get. Let me get you. See it. So essentially, you see how now it's like this. You know, it's it's stuck. Okay. Like this. It's for this. What's because it's been wrapped for so long? Um, you just you just what? You do this. Okay. And what is that doing? It helps the dough, um, the molecules. It helps the what? The molecules for the dough. You ain't making no sense, child. Have you cooked these before? That's I have. Okay. So after that, quite simple. Obviously, if you want the recipe once again, you know where to find it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Once you do that, I'll let you know where you can buy it. I mean, your apron is really just the ghetto part. Your apron is really just giving like, So um, um, it's my first day. Don't worry if while you're making it, you have a certified hater behind the scenes. It's okay, <laughs> as long as you've tasted it. So I usually like to grab about half an inch. Okay. Uh, because it will expand. Mm. Some, something that a lot of people don't know that. Um, the way the heat hits the dough, it mm. actually expands while it's cooking. So I just have to do a little bit of this. Oh. Oh, okay. And I caught it. One shot, Drake. Really? Yeah. You see that? Did you get it? No, I don't think I got it. Can you do it again? I just told it was a one-time trick. Did you get it or not? I don't think so. Okay. So, like I said, don't worry about the haters and what they'll say. Um, so that, that move, once again, only happens when you've done this for a while. If you haven't done this for a while, don't try it at home. So you make it to a ball, as okay. you can see here. Can you uh, go a bit closer? Okay. You make it to a ball, of course, before doing this, you should wash your hands and all that type of stuff. Coronavirus, swine flu. Yep. And then... Now there's a specific technique. See that? Okay. Prayer hands. Prayer hands. It's all Hallelujah. glory to God. So y'all say it like this. You go back to prayer hands. All glory to God. Uh huh. Imagine all that by bread alone, by every word that comes from the word of God. The word of God. All right. Let me put it in. Moment of truth. Let's see the cookies. So just before I oh, show these you. These actually look really good. And they also good. But uh, one thing I want you guys to notice. See here. Now if you flip it, you see that there's no dark, like it's not dark. Whenever she mixed them, it's always burnt here. But then mm -hmm. if you I mean you can't feel it because you can't actually touch it, but touch it, cut it now. See the gooey, oh. see the chewiness while it remains mm. crispy. I mean there's a chewiness, but then the outer is a bit crispy. It's my it's so good. Uh, yeah, it's my secret recipe. What would you give it? Out of ten. Out of 10, it's giving like um, 9.8. Okay, so the rest Nothing's is perfect. perfect. The, the rest Nothing's is perfect. perfect. It just, it is what it is. So we got a little area in our, um, let me put this up a little bit. All right, so we have a little area right here that we're gonna set up our tree. Uh, where we're gonna set up our tree i'm really excited but i'm also really tired because 10 p.m and my bedtime is literally um now it's right now so we're gonna try to get to this tree fast i'm 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 more and more excited to see ezekiel's reaction in the morning so hopefully i'm able to film that for you guys his reaction because i feel like it's gonna be so cute i would have loved to build up the tree with him but um <laughs> david's behind like <laughs> Ezekiel is like he's a great time. We love him. He's awesome, but he was literally trying to just see the tree fall on the ground, and that would be his mission throughout the whole thing. So I went on Pinterest and I found a few ideas because we have a few options. We have red, green. Uh, I think downstairs was red and green now. Right, gold. We have red, green, white, gold. Um, oh, this this would be a good idea. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. This would be so cute. You see that? That would be so, so cute. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Look at this one. See that? It's not horrible. We might go for something a little bit like that. So, um, although this tree looks artificial, 
Would you be shocked if I told you that I had to cut it down with an axe? Oh my. I didn't say I did, I said, would you be shocked? You can make your own assumptions. Just like when I used to be in a hug. Look at what this tree done did to me. Oh my, gosh. oh my goodness, this is so uncalled for. on Christmas tree okay we we're gonna do the most we we're like yo it's fine the way it is <laughs> you already see it yo, this is this is actually like life as parents this is life as parents people like, who do something yeah parents slash do business slash you're busy doing the days like yeah. I'm blocking yeah. the tree so you guys can see you have to turn the light so I can oh, so you see it goes a little, a little, a little countdown a little oh, five Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. It looks corny on camera. Want to do a thumbnail? Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a nice little carpet to put under here. And David was thinking of getting like a star to put up there. So as the vlogmas continues, you guys will see what we add to the tree. We had these nice little decorations right here, but. They don't have strings on them. I don't know why. And then also we have some cute little pine cones, some some of the white balls, some of the white ornaments. He yeah, has some gold ornaments. It's really, it's really cute. I love it. And there's not too many ornaments on the tree. I like it when you can see a little bit more of the tree. So this is really exciting. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, and it's real cute. That's the end of my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 1. It was quick, it was simple, it was an at-home vlog, but... Don't forget my recipe. Don't forget. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on Wednesday for Vlogmas Day 2. Peace. Bye.